Hey, what's going on? So my name is Billy Busby and this is my mastery journal for multimedia development and editing. MDV is what we've been calling it all month. So um, I had a couple of expectations coming into this class and I feel that some of them were met and some of them were exceeded. And what I mean by that is I, I for some reason, I thought this class was gonna be like all video editing and like um, how to manage your media and things like that. So, and I'm glad it wasn't that. I, I wanted to learn more about that stuff, but I'm glad it wasn't just that. I'm glad it actually pushed me and it did push me. This, this class pushed me in a lot of directions. And I think, I think I enjoyed that a lot more. This one really pushed me out of my comfort zone. We did the, the photojournalism piece. So it really made me think, um, hey, how do, I, how do I tell this story with just still pictures? You know, and it's not drastically different than video, but you can hide a lot of stuff with video, whereas photos, man, what you see is kind of what you get. Yeah, I know Photoshop and all that stuff, but you know, it's harder, like whatever's in that frame is in that frame, right? Like that's what you got to use to tell the story. So it really pushed me. I think the podcast was the assignment I enjoyed the most. And I say that because I had never done it. I listen to podcasts, who doesn't? But I had never produced a podcast before. So I was excited to do the podcast and it was challenging just in the same way that video and pictures were challenging, but it was just, how do you tell a story just using one, right? And uh, I really liked the way that that's structured. So, you know, we did pictures, we did audio, and then the next step is putting it together to tell a story because like my overall goal in this entire program is how do I become a better storyteller, right? What do I wish I could have done better this month? <laughs> I wish I had a better understanding of like my website and how to use it and how to optimize it, man. Like I, I, I did all the steps, you know, I spent some time with, with Jeff on the steps and stuff too. And like, man, it's just, it's I almost feel like my brain's already exploding as it is. So I really wish I could have done more with my website this month. I think I could have done a better job on the podcast as well. I liked how I how it turned out, but again, I didn't have that plan going into it. So my plan going into that week was to talk to some other people and, and do a whole different story. But that story was the one that kind of developed while, you know, while I was in the course and while that week was going on. So I kind of felt like that was the right topic that week to do a podcast on. But and because the story evolved throughout the week and I was unsure of myself doing a podcast. Uh, so anyway, I, I just feel like I could have done that better. I felt like I could have done a more polished job of, of that. So one of my goals this month was to get better at media management. And I did sort of do that um, just with my filing systems and, and like my workflow process, right? So like I would go out, I would take pictures, come back, immediately import them. Uh, do whatever I had to do to them, put them in a separate folder. And then once I was done with the project, move that entire project to my external hard drive because if you are doing this stuff for a long time, you're gonna start running into space issues with storing media, storing video, you know, sound files, scripts, all that stuff. So that's one of the things that I did end up accomplishing this month, even though it wasn't like necessarily taught taught. I wanted to learn more about converged environments and that was more of a thing that we've been discussing at my, at my day job. Uh, where we're talking about like transmedia and multimedia and things like that. So I sort of feel like uh, we covered some of that this month, even though it wasn't directly on the nose. <sighs> okay, so my main goal this month, because I've done ENG work before, electronic news gathering, but one of my main goals this entire month was to get better at electronic news gathering, improve those skills. And man, I really did that. So uh, the, the protests that were going on downtown, you know, I ran down there, I covered those pretty well you know, all in the mid middle of doing my day job as well. Um, tore my calf muscle doing it. So like, it was like, I, I had a good feeling after that of like what a news photog has to go through to get video for the story that they're trying to tell, right? And make sure they get enough video for the story. I spoke to a friend of mine that has done news photography for a long time. And he kind of agreed that, you know, what I went through over that two or three day period, getting all the video together for those stories is pretty much what he had to do every day. So it is what it is. But yeah, I've, I've learned a lot this month. I can't wait for the next class with Jeff because I already teaches two. Uh, phenomenal instructor. And man, this is one of the best uh, 
best courses I've had here yet where I love the interaction and the feedback we're getting. It's not just, yeah, hey, you did this well, you did that bad. It's like true criticism from somebody who's done it. You're right. So, I mean, I really respect that. All right. That's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you so much. Peace.